Um, Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau mentioned that you were receptive when he raised the issue of human rights and extrajudicial killings during your uh, brief uh, meeting. Can you tell us how you responded when well, this matter was raised and if other state leaders also, sir, uh, talked to you about this issue? You know, I was elected by the people of the Republic of the Philippines. I only answer to the people of the Republic of the Philippines. Ano to? If you are a Filipino, even if you are a fisherman and you ask me, I'll explain to you patiently. But for the others, they should come here. And I, I just said a word. What happened to the right to be heard? Sabi ko sa did it not occur to you one to wonder why? Ang pinapakita nila, extrajudicial killing. Hindi nga malaman makaproduce where, what happened, when, and how. Uh, I was told by the PNP head, it was uh, at the, the venue, and reported uh, one lady uh, who worked for a bank who was knocking the door of uh, her house when she arrived late. But there was, uh, nakatira lang ano, nanay pati tatay niya. Hindi ka agad narinig. So mayroon mga tao doon nag-inuman sa isang kanto. They, they just dragged the, the lady and raped her and killed her. And uh, Bato, as he is popularly known, said, what are we going to do it? It'll find out if it's the drug. Then if it is drug, go to the human rights. And uh, maybe to the priests and bishops. Don't mess up with the... So I ordered you to stay away from drug cases because you are suspected of killing them extrajudicially. But would you not be surprised na kung ipakita mo extrajudicial killings, lahat ang namatay sa extrajudicial killing lang. And when they are shown the records of about one is 10,000, the other is six, then four, whatever, dagdagan mo na, gabayin mo na ng 50. And you think that they can really produce one conviction? Mula, how, kasi maglapit yung mga galing EU no, sa labas. So, uh, it's a, a social problem. As a matter of fact, it is a health issue. Fine. Then, I, I'm, I'm now facing a guy who understands the problem. But pupunta sila dito yung figures sa social killing. How about the other side? When did the Philippines become a narco politics. Who was running the industry? How many <laughs> mayors and policemen and all, even generals, who were into it? Then, bakit namatay ito? I said, you know, but uh, it appears that uh, uh, you are killing the small fry. Well, okay, I'll go for the big ones. Now, why is it that it is uh, rampant in uh, communities blighted? Because Shabu is sold to the poor. They are not sold to the guys who are... Uh, students of uh, maybe rich enough to go around every night because they buy cocaine and hashes. Alam nila na maluluko sila. That's why sabihin mo, when you say that, uh, well, uh, why is it that he's an addict for years, but he's, uh, he, sometimes he's good. Eh? He can, well, you, you should take a look, I said, about the report of the World Health Organization. Now, you would see there uh, the characterization of Shabu, LSD, 
and it is only in the methamphetamine that you will read there. Can I? Who's my, where's my aid? Come on. Yung sa United Nations. It is a document of the United Nations. And Calamard came, she came here bringing, tagging along that uh, doctor, a uh, black uh, guy. And he, he had the goal to say in public that, you know, drugs do not harm the human beings. Uh, I, was, I was really appalled by this is international. This is the second time of unity. International Narcotics Control Board. Precursors. United Nations. And there is a characterization of it, uh, the effects of uh, everything. I told my staff to make this uh, public. Not, not because I want to defend myself. I told you, and it will be the rule until the end of my term, to the last day. If you destroy my country, I will kill you. No doubt about it. If you destroy the young, the youth are only assets, because the, generally we are really very poor. Most of 98% we cannot afford to buy a coffin or even to go to the hospitals. And I'll just give you this uh, precursors to you. There's, there's the, I don't know where it is, but there's a, uh, and it is only in methamphetamine that you will see that the effects are bizarre, violent, or not. So before I left for, uh, there was this, uh, uh, this is the one. Where's my egg? Bong. Nagpag, nagpagbuhat na nani. Bigyan mo sila. There was this bizarre guy who decapitated his wife. And he went out of his house shouting, Do not worry, I have killed Duterte. Look at the description of, all others seems to be okay. Except that there's just uh, an impact on the body. But uh, it's not so frightening. But shabu. Because. You gave me one that was already open. Ah, here. My aid is uh, from the army. And uh, she's the one bringing this uh, all the time. Cannabis. Well, uh, cannabis is, in the effect, cannabis smoke contains 50% more tar than the high tar cigarettes, which puts users at an increased risk of lung cancer and other respiratory diseases. Good for you. If you want that, then you smoke uh, cannabis. So with the... Uh, Cocaine, you can find it uh, other risks. Uh, you better read the, the, as a, the character. Other risks, mixing cocaine with alcohol is, is dangerous. Cocktail, and can greatly increase the chances of sudden death. Well, if you are the one dying suddenly, good for you and good for mankind. Ecstasy. Ecstasy. Tablets or pills that are sold as ecstasy may contain other potentially dangerous substances which can vary widely in strength and effects. Do you remember now the case of uh, those four guys who were had, uh, who had a drinking spree inside Pasay City Entertainment? Four of them suffered heart attacks. And the police told me that during the forensics, ang, ang heart niya tripled bumuka. 
Ayan, those are, as I said, these characteristics. Heroin. All the risks. Users risk overdosing on heroin, which can lead to coma and death through respiratory. This is very popular among uh, Hollywood stars. They, but even, even here in the Philippines, you cannot be a legit member of the industry if you are not into drugs. I'm sorry to say this, but not all, but most of them. You know, the payat na hindi mo maintindihan ang, I'm sure that it was the one. LSD, the physical effects are small compared to the psychological, emotional effects. So it's more of the mind. But uh, look at methamphetamine. All the risks, methamphetamine, you sometimes trigger aggressive, violent, and bizarre behavior among you. Kaya pati yung mga bata, they rape infants, they rape a family, rapes the blind mother, rapes the daughter-in-law, molested the 14-year-old daughter, and stabbed to death. A one-year-old guy. If you are the president, would you, would you be comfortable with this? And you're confronted every day. Now, I do not know if... Uh, my orders to the police and other law enforcement agencies uh, to stop uh, meddling in Shabu drugs so, uh, do not because uh, if they are if, if, if they are if lie dead there shot it's always the police who gets the blame now there was this report that uh, the parents wanted to see me because uh, Yung nga, yung the daughter who works for a bank came late uh, one night and uh, maybe it's raining. The, 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 the old couple could not hear the sound. That's uh, one of the sad stories. And that what puts me to a rage. Because those are the people who cannot even defend when you rape a baby. What am I supposed to do? Judges? There are a lot of judges on the tape. Fiscals? There's one idiot there. He's been prosecuting cases, 1,000. And no conviction. And it's also for the judge. Uh, I, I can't review it. But uh, I, I'm warning everybody. I, told I cannot tolerate this kind of idiotic uh, work. Either you stop, go away, tie yourself a rope around your neck, do not hang yourself, but make sure that you are tied to something solid. Because if I see you doing these things, then maybe, just maybe, the criticisms will turn out to be correct. So, yes. Going back to my question, so itama po ba, you responded to Prime Minister Trudeau's um, concerns yeah. uh, over killings said, by explaining uh, to him the news I will, reports? I said I will not explain. It is a personal and official insult. That is why you hear me throwing down epithets, curses, nagmumura, bullshit and everything. Because it angers me. When you are a foreigner, you do not know exactly what is happening in this country. You do not even investigate. You only show before the United Nations a record of how many persons died you claim to be extrajudicially. Ex I said, I do not. I said, well, you can investigate. Find out. Look, guys, what I am really asking, uh, and before, uh, a lot, they were all there. I said, why don't you investigate first and find out the truth? Whatever happened, why are you not giving us in government the simple rule of the right to be heard? 
There are somebody who picks up the records of dead persons and they go there. You know, my advice to everybody, the ones that I curse publicly, is do not get your documents from the opposition and from the communists. Because I said they are all falsified. Maybe I would say as a reality that there were some killing extrajudicially. But as always, I order their arrest and detention. Just like what happened in the Kaloocan case. But you will be hearing more of it. Keep track of that record because uh, in the end, you would know the real truth. The truth is the truth of the accused policemen and the truth of uh, uh, media and everywhere. There are two. When it is a case, do not conclude that this one is correct. Give him the benefit of doubt and the right to be heard. Then, at the end of the day, you'll have to make a choice. Then